Recently, Tesla has continuously unveiled multiple versions of the Optimus robot in different colors, from the basic black and white prototype to matte black, golden, and even a black and red Kung Fu Optimus showcased at the Tron Ari's red carpet event. Okay, but after all that, this still isn't the high-end Gen 3 version that Elon Musk has been talking about. According to Musk's repeated confirmations, we'll finally get to see that version next month at the Tesla shareholder meeting. The upcoming Optimus is said to feature a groundbreaking redesign and major technical upgrades. This will be the version capable of cooking, cleaning, and performing far more complex tasks. Tesla has poured cutting-edge engineering into it, especially its robotic hands, which are considered the best in the world, second only to human hands. Elon Musk even emphasized on X, wait until you see what Tesla does with Optimus. Okay, now imagine this. You come home after a long day at work, open the door, and your robot says, dinner is ready, please enjoy. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, hold on. Elon Musk just made that dream come true. In the latest update, the Tesla bot, once only capable of walking and doing basic movements, can now actually cook. It has learned how to prepare meals, recognize ingredients, cut, cook, and even plate dishes beautifully. It can also take orders and deliver food, just like a delivery driver. Oh my God, this is the future we never thought would come so soon. Okay, it might replace some jobs, but it'll also create new ones. And this is something you definitely don't want to miss about this humanoid robot. Discover what it can do right now. Honestly, the humanoid robot race is heating up more than ever between three major players, Tesla, Unitree, and Figure AI. Unitree's G1 keeps releasing jaw-dropping demos featuring flips and martial arts moves, while the Figure 03 version has just been unveiled. This quietly proves one thing. If Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 isn't impressive enough, Elon Musk could very well fall behind these two major competitors. So, what makes the Optimus Gen 3 so special? We're finalizing the design of Optimus version 3, and uh, that, that really is going to be a very remarkable robot. Um, it will have the, essentially the manual dexterity of a human, so meaning a like very complex hand. Elon Musk described the Optimus Gen 3 as the most beautiful and perfectly designed version ever. Compared to version 2.5, Gen 3 has been almost completely rebuilt from the ground up, focusing on aesthetics, harmony, and a friendly, human-like presence. Tesla understands that while functionality is crucial, users still want a robot that looks approachable, not intimidating like a Terminator-style machine. According to leaked information, Optimus Gen 3 will feature a digital face display integrated with Grok AI voice assistants, similar to Tesla's in-car virtual assistant. This screen can show the robot's operational status, emotions, or user-requested information. In other words, Optimus's face has now become a living computer interface, allowing for more natural and intuitive communication. As for the body design, Tesla is reportedly aiming for a lighter, more flexible build to increase movement speed, with a target walking speed of around 3 miles per hour. To achieve this, the engineering team may have used new lightweight materials, redesigned the joints, and optimized the actuator system to reduce overall weight while maintaining durability. One of the biggest upgrades in Optimus Gen 3 is the significant increase in its degrees of freedom, the number of joints or independent movement axes the robot can control. This is a core factor that determines how human-like a robot's motion, manipulation, and task execution can be. While Optimus 2.5 could perform around 1,500 basic tasks, the Optimus Gen 3 is expected to handle up to 3,000 useful tasks, effectively doubling its current capability. This improvement comes from the addition of more flexible joints, higher precision sensors, and more sophisticated motor control systems. For example, if Optimus 2.5 could gently hold an egg, Optimus 3 can now crack it, cook it, and serve a fried egg, almost perfectly mimicking real human actions. Optimus Gen 3 is all about expanding what it can actually do, especially when it comes to real useful tasks at home. The newest version is expected to shine in household work, like cooking and cleaning, easily outperforming the current model. Even more impressive, its upgraded battery will deliver 22 hours of non-stop operation after just a two-hour charge. Naturally, that means the $20,000 price tag is history. To make a robot that can cook or handle any complex practical job, 
Tesla has poured massive resources into Optimus's brain and arms. Elon Musk recently admitted on X that designing a hand with true dexterity is one of the hardest engineering problems they've ever faced. Mass producing those intricate robotic arms, he said, could be a hundred times more difficult than building them in small quantities. Musk even confessed that creating Optimus is tougher than designing the Model X, more challenging than the Cybertruck, and harder than constructing a Gigafactory, but still not as insane as building Starship. But why invest so much time and money just to make a hand that moves like ours? As Musk explains it, humans evolved the way we are for a reason. Everything around us, tools, objects, entire living spaces, was designed with human form and function in mind. So, if a robot is going to live and work in our world, it needs to be shaped like us too, especially the hands, the very instruments that built civilization in the first place. Musk often calls the human hand an evolutionary masterpiece. Over 27 degrees of freedom, driven by tendons and forearm muscles like the strings of a puppet, precise, strong, and astonishingly versatile. Thanks to them, we can grip a baseball bat, thread a needle, play a piano, or take apart an engine. No other part of the body matches that adaptability. And if we want a truly general-purpose robot, solving the hand problem isn't optional, it's the gateway. This, Musk says, is where most robotics companies stumble. They can make robots that walk, run, jump, box, or even play ping-pong, but not one that can peel an orange or rinse vegetables under running water. They excel at showy stunts, not the everyday tasks that actually matter. The best way to imagine Optimus's potential is to picture it in a kitchen. Cooking is more than just moving parts. It's a real-world test of coordination, perception, and intelligence. Even making something simple, like bacon and eggs, is a sequence of complex actions. Opening the fridge, identifying ingredients, picking up an egg without cracking it, turning on the stove, heating the pan, adding oil, timing everything perfectly. Each step requires a flawless blend of dexterous hands, cognitive reasoning, and synchronized movement. If Optimus can cook, that means it has crossed the threshold, from being an industrial robot to becoming part of the human world. And that's where the contrast with today's robots becomes clear. The robotic arms in Tesla's factories can weld car frames or attach parts with lightning precision, but only in tightly controlled, repetitive environments. Drop them into a real kitchen and they'd be completely lost. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. To understand why Optimus Gen 3 marks such a pivotal moment, it helps to rewind a bit and trace how far the Tesla bot has come. When Elon Musk first introduced it at AI Day 2021, many people dismissed the idea as pure gimmick a guy in a robot suit dancing on the stage. But just a year later, at AI Day 2022, Tesla surprised everyone by unveiling a real, functioning prototype. It was awkward, sure, but it worked. By late 2023, with the debut of Gen 2, the progress was undeniable. The robot could walk 30% faster, fold clothes, delicately hold an egg without cracking it, and even move with a surprising rhythm on the dance floor. Then came 2024, when Optimus officially joined Tesla's production lines, helping sort batteries and support assembly work. This year, its training has shifted toward one clear goal, turning Optimus into something genuinely useful, not just impressive. From the factory floor to everyday household chores, the focus is now on real-world value. And by next year, Tesla expects Optimus to take on an even broader set of tasks, some of which might genuinely surprise us. Probably not next year, but like in 2026, it's, it's really the kind of thing where you, you could tell it to do kind of a, a wide range of tasks. It's got the, it's got the real world AI, so it tells us the, the leader in real world AI. Um, what we learned from the car, we translate to, to the Optimus robot. Um, and we also trans take the, our expertise in electric motors, in batteries, power electronics, uh, structural design, and then another major important thing is that we're very good at manufacturing. Imagine a weekend without the usual, where do I even start cleaning? Panic because Optimus has already handled everything for you. The Tesla bot is no longer just a flashy prototype. It's steadily evolving into a true all-purpose home assistant, even before reaching its high-end versions. Back in Gen 2, 
Optimus could already manage an impressive list of household chores, picking up trash bags, opening lids, placing them neatly in the bin, wiping tables, tearing paper towels, stirring a pot, vacuuming the floor, opening cabinets, and even drawing the curtains. And that's not all. Earlier demonstrations showed it performing far more complex actions, checking packages, serving drinks, folding laundry, cleaning the kitchen, watering plants, retrieving items from a car trunk, joining family games, dancing, and even chatting casually. But not everything has been perfect. The one thing that still feels underwhelming, and honestly, a bit frustrating, has been its movement speed and agility. It's hard to believe that after an entire year, Optimus still walks with that stiff, slow shuffle, especially with Gen 3 right around the corner. In the latest footage, it moves awkwardly, like it's wearing a heavy suit or struggling to find balance. Tesla's goal is for Optimus to eventually reach 5 miles per hour, but right now, it doesn't even seem to hit 2. It's still painfully slow. It can watch a video of something like a person and, and then learn just by looking at that video and, and do that task. As we've discussed before, one of Optimus's most groundbreaking abilities may be its power to learn directly from video. All it takes is a simple tutorial on YouTube or a clip of a person performing a task, and Optimus can start training itself in a virtual environment. Inside the, this simulated world, it practices billions of times over, fixing errors, refining movements, and perfecting the skill before bringing it seamlessly into the real world. That's why, in just a single day, Optimus might not just pick up one or two new tricks, it could learn up to a hundred. Whether it's wiping tables, collecting trash, vacuuming floors, or even handling complex industrial jobs like assembling components or operating machinery, its skill library keeps expanding at an incredible pace. Then came the jaw-dropping part. Mark Benioff confirmed that Optimus will be priced between $200,000 and $500,000. And, honestly, wow, that's probably the worst possible news for anyone hoping to buy one next year. Elon Musk hasn't officially confirmed it yet, but the number alone set off a storm of debate online. At that price, Optimus is far beyond the reach of everyday consumers, and even many small or mid-sized businesses. Imagine a middle-class family or a startup trying to justify spending the equivalent of several luxury cars just to own one robot, no matter how many chores it can handle or how elegantly it can play the piano. It raises a serious question. Is this still the people's robot Musk once promised, or has it quietly shifted into a product meant for large corporations and the ultra-rich? The price tag is a massive leap from the $20,000 to $30,000 range Elon Musk initially suggested, and it's left plenty of fans disappointed. Some have joked that Optimus now costs more than a Tesla Roadster, while others point out that for just $5,900, you could grab a Unitree R1 or a whole lineup of other capable robots. Almost everything in Optimus is new. There's, there's not like an existing supply chain for the motors, gearboxes, electronics, actuators, really anything in the, in the uh, almost anything in the Optimus, uh, apart from the, the AI for Tesla, the Tesla AI computer, um, which is the same as the one in the car. Elon Musk once mentioned that Optimus could reuse some parts from Tesla's electric vehicles, but in reality, not everything can be repurposed. That's exactly what makes building Optimus such an enormous challenge, especially in these early stages. Even with a world-class engineering team and Tesla's cutting-edge factories, progress is bound to be slow, and the first production runs will be nowhere near the long-term $30,000 target. Musk has openly admitted that producing 1 million Optimus units a year probably won't happen until 2029 or 2030. Realistically, that means it could take another 6 to 10 years before the robot's price drops to the $30,000 range. During the early commercialization phase with limited production, the numbers could look very different. Around $100,000 for Gen 2 and potentially over $200,000 for a premium Gen 3 model. According to Musk, once Tesla reaches that million-unit milestone, Optimus's price could finally stabilize between $20,000 and $25,000. At first glance, that still sounds expensive. But, compared to hiring a full-time housekeeper or cook over several years, it might actually be a smart investment. 
especially if we imagine a future where Optimus not only cooks but also cleans, assists the elderly, or even holds conversations powered by advanced language models. To put its complexity into perspective, the AI chip alone costs between $5,000 and $6,000, and each arm contains 26 actuators. It's a reminder that this isn't just a robot, it's a marvel of precision engineering. Still, if any company can drive costs down, it's Tesla. After all, they turned EV batteries from luxury-priced technology into something affordable for the mass market. There's a good chance they'll pull off the same trick with Optimus. What's truly exciting, though, is the coming fusion of hardware and software. Once the robot's hands become dexterous enough, Tesla plans to integrate large language models, allowing users to issue natural voice commands like, Hey Optimus, cook me a steak, or Hey Optimus, make me a sandwich and coffee for tomorrow morning. Optimus would understand the request, choose the right ingredients, and even search for recipes online if it's never cooked that dish before. Picture walking into your kitchen and seeing a humanoid chef moving with skill and precision, as if it had trained for years. Cooking, an activity that requires both sensitivity and finesse, could become the moment that marks humanity's true transition into a world shared with intelligent robots. Naturally, the biggest fear surrounding robots is that they'll take our jobs, but history suggests those fears are often overblown. When ATMs were first introduced, people predicted mass layoffs among bank tellers. Instead, the opposite happened. Lower operating costs led to more branches and even more employees. A similar pattern could emerge with Optimus. Rather than erasing jobs, humanoid robots could create an entirely new ecosystem of work. Roles in robot training, maintenance, supervision, AI programming, and human-machine interface design. Over time, people would move away from physically demanding or dangerous labor toward jobs that rely on creativity, empathy, and social intelligence, skills that machines still struggle to replicate. It's a shift from a labor-driven economy to a knowledge-based one. Another area with massive potential is healthcare. With populations aging rapidly, by 2050 more than 16% of the world's population will be over 65, the demand for medical staff is set to outstrip supply. Optimus could become a key part of the solution, delivering medications, helping patients move, taking vital signs, recording data, and even detecting early symptoms using AI analysis. Robots don't tire, don't get emotional, and can work through long shifts without losing focus. The benefits are hard to deny. These machines can step in where it's too dangerous for humans, dramatically boost productivity, support the elderly and people with disabilities, and even join search and rescue missions during natural disasters. Tesla's Optimus could stand at the center of this revolution, not just as a breakthrough in technology, but as a transformation in how we live and work. By taking over repetitive or hazardous tasks, Optimus could ease the world's dependence on manual labor while driving efficiency and cutting costs. And with advanced AI at its core, it has the potential to handle everything from elder care to industrial operations, reshaping the way we interact with both our jobs and our daily lives. So, above all, what feature are you most excited to see on the Tesla Bot Gen 3? How much do you think the Tesla Bot Gen 3 will cost when it hits the market? Drop your answers in the comments below. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, this is Tesla Car World. Goodbye.